Here are the basics for Ohm's law for electric currents. Remember that electric currents can be likened to water flow currents in that they both displace a certain quantity at a certain rate through time. This flow will be modified by voltage and resistance. Voltage is analogous to the slope that a current flows down. The greater the change in height, the greater the flow. Similarly, for electric currents, the greater the change in voltage, the greater the electric current flow. The flow can be interrupted by obstacles. The more obstacles there are, the lower the flow. For electric currents, the more resistance, the lower the flow. Combining these proportionalities, you get Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the rate of current flow is directly proportional to the change of voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance in the circuit. Note that this is a first order linear approximation to current flow as Many resistors change behavior depending on the current applied as well as other variables not included in Ohm's law. Here is a simple numeric example using Ohm's law. As we read the problem, we take note of any clues on voltage, current, and resistance. We also identify what is being asked for. It is encouraged that even for such simple problems, you develop the habit of drawing a picture. Identify the flow of current, the resistances, 
and where there are changes in voltage. Apply Ohm's law and write out the equation. Solve symbolically for the unknown and plug in with units to get an answer. As always, finish by rereading the problem and making sure your answer is sensible. For additional basic practice, you are encouraged to check out the simulator from phet.colorado.edu. Play around with changing voltage as well as resistance.